Good evening, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I am Minister Mary Callaway. I bring you greetings from the, he from the Ebenezer Baptist Church in the city of Lancaster in the state of Pennsylvania, where I am an associate minister under the direction and leadership of an awesome man of God, the one and only Reverend Roland P. Forbes Jr. My assignment today is to talk to you for a few minutes about meditation. Focusing on God and his will, I tell you, God has a way of getting our attention. I must admit with all honesty that I have not been focusing on God as I should, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. But I am thankful and I'm grateful that he uses members within the body of Christ to help us get back on track and in line with him and to remind not only myself, but to others as well, the importance of spending quality time with God on a daily basis, no matter what's going on in, your, in our lives. First Chronicles 16 and 11 reminds us to seek the Lord and his strength, seek his face continually. That means each and every day before we start our daily routines, we should spend some, some, some time with God. Spending time with God is essential spiritually, emotionally, and mentally. With that being said, let's talk a little bit about focusing on God, on God's will. Focusing on God's will means making him number one priority above everything and above everyone else. When we focus on God, it means putting him first in our lives. Matthew 6, 33 says, but seek and his righteousness and all these things should, shall be added unto you. What's all those things? Everything we need pertaining, pertaining to our daily life, God will provide it for us because we spent some quality time with him. Focusing on God's will also means following his word and obeying his commands. Psalms 119 verses 2 through 4 states as follows, Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with all the whole heart. That seek, seek him with the whole heart. They also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. Thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. I'm not saying that we're not going to make mistakes and God already knows that we will. But he's saying we should do our very best as much as lies within us through the help of his Holy Spirit to follow his commandments and to, to be obedient to the things that he tells us. In other words, the will of God is to know the word of God. We can achieve this through meditation. Meditation is a way of clearing your mind of anything but the presence of God and, and his word and the word of God and focusing your thoughts on those things. Look at it as breathing. As you inhale, you inhale positive energy. And as you exhale, you re you're getting rid of, rid of all the negative energy from within yourself and within your spirit. In essence, meditation is a meeting with God. It allows you to connect with, with God and to find peace and calmness in his presence. Isaiah 26 and 3 says it like this, that will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusts in thee. What that verse is saying that the more we focus and pull, place our thoughts on the, the things of God, the more we are, we're at peace in our daily living and in our lives. Meditation means thinking about what God's word says. Taking time each day to reflect on it, and I'm talking about the word of God, to reflect on it, to study it, and learn how to apply it to our lives. Joshua 1 and 8, it says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. In Psalms 1 and verse 2 and 3, the
the word of God reads like this, but his delight is in the law of the Lord and in his law that he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. In other words, the more we meditate on God's word, the more we allow his word to sink deep within our spirits, just like that tree that is being nourished by the rivers, rivers of water on a continuous basis, the word of God will is uh, helping us to grow because we have a, a constant uh, a constant nourishing and we're connected through meditation just like the tree is connected through to the water the water goes up through the roots and it's being nourished that's how we are when we're staying connected through meditation on, on the scriptures of God benefits of meditation Meditation is a form of prayer. You're, you focus, you're focusing on quieting our minds in order to focus on God and to hear his voice clearly. It also will bring about peace of mind. Meditation also improves mental clarity. Meditation allows us to have deeper insights into the nature of God and who he is. Meditation also reduces stress anxiety and depression and meditation is also a tool for, for spiritual growth and development so how do you meditate first you choose a quiet and peaceful environment a distraction free space where you can meditate on god's work without interruptions and that means also leaving your cell phone in a different location Number two, select a Bible passage or a verse. If you're not sure, let me say you, you need to have a plan. But if you have no idea of what you want to read that day, talk to God about it. Ask him what he wants you to uh, meditate on that morning or any time of the day. It doesn't have to be morning, but it just needs to be sometime throughout the day. Three, read and reflect. As you read it, Read it out loud and allow the words of Christ to enter into your, your heart. And then reflect on what you just read. And then if there's some a verse in the passage of scripture or just that particular verse that you've read that day, memorize it and repeat it. Not one time, not two times. The more you, the more you repeat it, before you know it, you already have it memorized. Number five, pray. Prayer is very important as as the word of god ministers to you you're also talking to god and he's allowing you to uh talk to him about your issues and concerns six apply what you have learned not only hear the word but also be doers of the word put it put the word of god into practice meditating on scripture is about having god's promises flood our mind fill our hearts, and anchors our soul for the day. By taking the time to meditate, we can connect with God in a deeper way and gain a greater understanding of his will for our life, for our lives. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, and we praise you for who you are. Thank you, Lord, for reminding us of how important it is to spend some quality time with you before we go about our daily routines. I thank you, Lord, for reminding me that meditation is very important in the lives of your children. So as this word went out today, I pray that someone's heart will be open to start another day with you, spending time in your presence, listening to your voice, listening to your word, and allow it, and then applying what we've read to our lives. Thank you, Lord, for helping us to get back on track. And thank you for reminding us of how important it is to spend quality time with you so our relationship with one another can grow deeper between you and your children. Thank you, Father, for meditation. In Jesus' name, be blessed, everyone.